controversial decision by Israel's finance minister, Bitzalel Smotrich, to withhold more than $50 million away from Arab municipalities in Israel sparked outrage among the Arab population of Israel. They claim that this decision is unfair and it will have major devastating effect on their community. We're here because we are demonstrating against a very racist decision, which is stealing. The Israeli government is actually stealing few hundred million shekels from all the Arab municipalities in, in a very illegal and illegitimate way. Freezing budgets has a great impact on our Arab society. It hinders the beginning of the school year and will exacerbate the problem of violence because students will spend more time on the streets. We are facing racism and our lives have reached rock bottom. Today we are here because of the racism of Smotrich, who wants to cut the budgets that sustain our towns. Smotrich claims that without proper oversight, the money will end up in the hands of organized crime groups, something that the leaders of the Arab community in Israel vehemently denies. I do not know whether to laugh or cry at this allegation, because it is a false allegation and has racist motives behind it. Oversight exists in all ministries. They do not give money to any local Arab or Jewish authority without oversight. The situation quickly turned violent. While the police were trying to prevent the demonstrators from reaching the gates of the prime minister's office, some managed to break through the barricades. The police dealt violently with the angry protesters. This woman, which we interviewed earlier for the report, was thrown to the ground, ended up with a bloody face. Others were arrested. It is normal for us to struggle. Struggle by all means is necessary to achieve our fundamental right, which is to obtain basic budgets. I reject repression. They must respect the demonstrators' right to express their opinions. Arab leaders vow to continue their demonstrations and protests until the funds are released to their municipalities. In Jerusalem, Mohammed Al-Qasim reporting for the media line.